hello and welcome to my channel my name is Oi. Um, in this video I'll be reviewing the Zaron splash palette and this palette basically has nine interesting colors I think all of the colors of the rainbow on this one so I'll just be showing you um, what I did with it how I achieved this look and finally at the end of this video um, let you know if this is a good buy or not so if you'd like to see how I went about this then definitely keep watching so the first thing I'm going to do is to work on my brows and here I'm just brushing that with a swilly brush and I'm going to be using my eyebrow pencil to fill in my brows um, lightly and basically in this video I think that I have an updated eyebrow routine now I do not have that on tape yet but um, I could work on that in another video but basically I'm just filling in my eyebrows with, with light feathery strokes just because I like my brows looking pretty natural and I'm going to be using my Elego Pro concealer in fawn and if you notice I didn't start from the very edge of the eyebrow so I left just um, a couple of spaces in front of the eyebrow um, that's because I'm going to be using another concealer shade for that but for the rest of it I wanted my concealer shade to be brighter which is why I used fawn and I'm going to go in with my Elego Prune Concealer in a darker shade. I'm thinking that's coffee. And I'm going to be applying that from the edge of my eyebrows. And just blending that out. As you can see, it sort of matches my skin color. And it's just so that it gives it a natural look. And I'm also going to be using that same shade for the top of my eyebrows. You know to clean up any excesses and of course I'm going to also blend that out when I am done so I'm going to be taking my black opal powder which seems to have almost run out and I'm just going to be using that to set my eye area and I'm just brushing my eyebrows and here's a hack that I use I apply like clear gel and I use that as my eyebrow tamer or to set my eyebrows in place I'm going to go in my Elego Pro Concealer in Porcelain and I'm going to be using that as my eye primer in this video I'm blending that out over my eyelid And yeah, this is the Zaron palette splash in splash as you can see bright um, colors there so I'm going to go in with face tea and I'm going to be using this crisp brush to apply face tea as my first transition color And then I'm going to go in with flame to further um, brighten up that transition color. Basically, I intended to use as many colors as possible from that palette in achieving this look. And then I'm going in with burnt, which is like um, a burnt orange look to further, um, you know, lighting my crease area and then i'm going to go in with black out so this is to increase um, the depth of that crease area i'm just blending that in with my crease brush and then i'm going to go in with jive which is like a purple um, shade and i'm applying that to the edges of my eyelids and I'm going back again with that burnt orange color and filling up the center of my eyelid with it sort of like a halo like effect and then I'm going to go back in with my porcelain Elgar Pro concealer and I'm applying funk funk looks yellow here but it's actually a golden color 
from the palette and a shimmery and next I'm going to go in with shimmer a mystery on my eye line my waterline rather and then I also went in with snatched below and once I've done that I'm going to just be lining my eyebrows and going with my colossal kajal um, mascara I'm going to then go in with my L'Oreal true match foundation I'm applying that all over my face and I'm just blending that in with my brush I'm going in with fawn to, to highlight my under my eye area um, I'm also going to use this for my nose bridge my forehead cupid's bow area and my chin I'm going to take this one like brush and I'm just going to blend that into my skin not forgetting to just press this into the skin so so that it get fuller a fuller coverage and I'm going to go in with my Zaron L10 powder to set those highlighted areas of my face and then I'm going to just um, contour my cheekbone area I'm going to also do this to my nose bridge area we want that nose snatched and then I'm going to with a bit of blush and I'm picking this dark brown shade powder and I'm just using that to set the whole makeup in place all over my face I'm going into my Milani highlighter and just lightly using that on my nose bridge um, and I mix this with my black radiant highlighter palette and I'm just applying this to my eye area and my cheek area my cupid's bone area my chin and my forehead and then I'm going to just line my lips with this brown pencil I'm going in with a natural look afterwards I'm going to apply my slick lip gloss and I'm setting the whole makeup here I've already attached my lashes um, I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I hope that it was informative enough but generally and from what you can see I think that the palette is a pretty pigmented one and it's um, going for a pretty decent price too here in Nigeria I bought it 4,000 Naira and that's like literally a very good steal here so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel should you buy the Zaron splash palette definitely yes and I'll definitely see you in my next video bye